Hello and welcome to the second part of my advanced Vulkan rendering tutorial series. In this part I will show you how you can load multiple textures and how to render them on your IMGUI window. We're gonna use the code from the last part as a starting point. So let's get started. First of all we move some variables from our application class and make them global. Next, we create a helper class, because some functions need to be accessed by our texture class that we create later. In this class we move the following functions. Create buffer, begin single time commands, end single time commands, copy buffer, find memory type, create image view, create image, transition image layout and copy buffer to image. Perfect. Now create the texture class that I mentioned earlier and add a public descriptor set, a load function, a free function and a destroy function. From our application class we move some texture related variables to our texture class and make them private. Because we created a texture class, we no longer need to call create texture image, generate mid-maps, create texture image view and create texture sampler in the init Vulkan function. Instead, we move these functions to our texture class in the private section. For later, we also want to create a create descriptor set function. Next, move all the texture destroying stuff from the cleanup function to our texture destroying function. And for future use, we also call VK free descriptor set in the free function. To actually load a texture, we need to call the create texture image function and modify it so that it takes a custom file path. And also don't forget to call the image view, the sampler and the create descriptor set functions.
Back in the application class, create your texture image variable and in the init Vulkan function, below create descriptor sets, load your texture. But don't forget to destroy it in the cleanup function. Since the uniform and texture descriptor sets are now separate, we need to rename the original one to uniform descriptor set layout and add a second descriptor set layout for the textures. But don't forget to destroy it. Creating the second layout is simple. Just go to the create descriptor set layout function, remove the binding array, set the binding count 1, give the uniform buffer layout binding to the binding pointer and call ek create descriptor set layout. Next copy the function and just set the binding pointer to sampler layout bindings and set the target descriptor set layout to our texture descriptor set layout. Now it's time to create the texture descriptor set. Therefore, we copy everything from the create descriptor sets function to the create texture descriptor set function. Then we delete the layout vector, set the descriptor count to 1, and set the layout pointer to our texture descriptor set layout. After that, delete the resize descriptor sets and set the target descriptor set to our texture descriptor set. Next, remove the for loop and delete everything that's related to the uniform buffers. Important is that you set the destination binding to zero. Some similar changes are done in the create descriptor sets function, so delete everything that's related to images. In the vertex shader, set the uniform set to 0 and do the same in the fragment shader. But there, also set the binding to 0. And don't forget to compile the shaders. Back in our application class, go to create graphics pipeline and give both descriptor set layouts to the pipeline layout.
Now in our record command buff function, we need to bind the texture descriptor set and set the first set to 1. Last but not least, go to the create descriptor pool function and set the combined image sampler count to 3 and the max sets to max frames in flight plus 3. Because in the end we will have 3 textures, 2 for our app and 1 for our GUI. When you did everything correctly, your Vulkan app should look the same as before. And now if we go back to our record command buff function, we can render an image on an I'm GUI window just by giving it the texture descriptor set. But wait, there's even more. With our texture class, we can easily load a second texture and render it via IM GUI too. So, that's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. Link to the source code is in the description. By the way, in this tutorial I'm using my own custom I'm GUI Vulkan backend that supports textures. Of course, you can download it on my GitHub profile. Oh, and before I forget it, I also have Patreon now. Link is as always in the description. So, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope I see you next week. Bye.